20 minutes. Hi guys, so I'm back and as you can see, I'm in my lounge. I have loads of room to move about now and I just feel, it just, it's just a really good feeling. But as you may notice, if you've been watching my videos for quite some time now, my camera wasn't the clearest and it didn't have the best quality. And I quote, my videos look like they had been filmed on a potato. Love you too, Cassie. Um, but yeah, I've got a new Nikon camera for my birthday and we are stepping up our YouTube game and we are changing the quality. So, but I like it and it's really weird because I'm looking at myself in a viewfinder and before it was like, like loads of different mirrors, which was really tricky and I don't know why I'm out of breath, but I'm just so excited. But I'm gonna be doing a chit chat video with you today and I feel like I don't, there's not enough times where I just get to chat with you guys and speak about just life in general. Usually it's just like really beauty or fashion based or like me doing my makeup. But in this video I'll be able to just talk to you so you can get to know me a bit more and I get to answer some of your questions. So stay tuned and keep watching. I'll see you in a second. Bye! Okay, so I have my hair down and I have this problem where I can't have my hair down for like a certain amount of time. Like I'll be in college and my hair will be down and I'll be feeling it really good. And then I just have to tie it up because although it doesn't look that great when it's up, I just, I can concentrate more when it's up. But yeah, I'm just getting used to it because it's like focusing on my face. So anywhere I move, it'll be like in focus. Anyway, I've got quite a few questions. I've picked these ones up from Instagram or like, or direct messages from Instagram or YouTube like messages. I've chosen the ones which will be interesting to talk about not just like I have had some like what's your favorite color and you guys know that it's oxblood like a burgundy color Millie knows Millie knows but the first question is Netflix or food and I okay I have a really weird obsession with Sour Patch Kids at the moment like Caitlin's left me with all the lemon ones but yeah I really like I go for food anytime. TV, I don't really get much time to watch TV. I did have a phase of Pretty Little Eyes. That was during my GCSEs and that was a really bad idea because instead of revising, I would watch TV. But yeah, food all the way. Just food. What is your favorite emoji? Okay, so let's have a look. What's my favorite emoji? I really like the winky face just because I fail to wink in real life. So like, if I'm being really sarcastic, I'll just be like, and people will kind of get me. Or the, the, it's like, I'll do it. It's like, but the eyes like go like that. And then, it's really strange, but it's, it's a really cheeky emoji. On the top left of people's favorite emojis, it's like the laughing, crying face, but yeah. The winky face or the, the tongue out face. Have you ever thought of coming to France? Yes, 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 yes. At the moment for my, um, a levels I'm doing geography law and French I just love the language I just French is amazing I really enjoy it and I do want to live in France when I'm older hopefully Paris that's like the ultimate goal um, and do something out there I just love the fashion the culture the food the people I know like I've read loads of books about it and they're like the people aren't that friendly but I'm sure they are and um, yeah so I will definitely be coming to France so hello to all of my viewers in France. Who is your favourite YouTuber? And my favourite YouTuber is Kaylee McKenzie because I've been watching her since she did like her first video on this Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation and she's the best and she lives in New York City and she's awesome but I also like Bubs Beauty and um, Stella Beauty and oh it's all beauty isn't it? And who else do I like? Um, Adeline, Adeline Moran Marin, she's Cookie Monster basically, she's really good and she can do like loads of double chins, which is really cool. <laughs> You'll think I'm really strange now. Okay, how are your parents with your channel? Okay, so I do get this a lot and it's mainly off my friends from college and stuff, they're like, have you told me your parents about it? And yet my parents with YouTube, they're really supportive actually. At first I thought, okay, 
they're gonna be thinking, Lanika, you sit in your room and you film and you speak to a camera and it's really strange, you should get out more. But no, they're they like my dad and my mom, they'll film, they'll help me film outfit videos, like my bonfire night outfit video. And last year, I think it was last year or the year before. So I've been on YouTube here for two years now, which is like and that's emotional guys but yeah my dad like followed me um, in the woods and stuff with, his, with the camera and it's just like they're really supportive and thank you mum and dad Mwah. thank you so yeah they're cool with it I'm glad they are to be honest because if my parents weren't I probably wouldn't be doing it would you rather date Cameron Dallas or Nash Grier? Nash Grier Cameron Dallas is really good looking but Nash Grier just because he's got a really good personality just dance well, I think it's funny. Favourite film? Okay, so my favourite film is Spirited Away. It's an anime film. Um, who's create? Who's it created by? It's like, uh, I can't remember the name, but I will insert like his name here because he's amazing. And Spirited Away is, I won't like give it away, but it will move you. It, the moral of the story is not to be greedy and there's this character called No Face and it's like, watch it in the Japanese version with the English subtitles because it'll just move you, that film is the best and if you think about it, it's someone has spent the time to draw each individual scene and it's just an amazing film so you go watch that Worst Nightmare okay, <laughs> Worst Nightmare so I went to go and see Crimson Peak with my friend Caitlin and Millie and that is my worst nightmare because the Bond movie was out there and we were thinking oh let's go and see that but instead they were just like let's go and see Crimson Peak because Why Nights are horror and we can do this. We sat right at the back of the cinema and it was horrible. <laughs> I don't want to give it away because you might really be into those types of films but um, it was just like it was just pure murder and it was really weird. It was about ghosts and the house was bleeding. It was like based in Cumberland, England. It's like, the 1800s. It reminded me of Downton Abbey, but the house was on this clay, this red clay, and it would ooze through the walls, and it was just creepy, so creepy. Um, the only th reason we liked it, I think, because Tom Hiddleston was in it, but we sat right at the back, and there was no one behind us. We were like second from back, and there was no one behind us. But me and Millie kept feeling someone kicking our chair. I don't know if it was the guy over there, but. That's my worst nightmare, because go watch it. I'm like advertising a film, which I don't even want you to go and see. It's scary, it's really weird, it's just a weird film. And this is the last question, which is a really interesting question actually. And it's confidence advice for girls struggling with insecurities. And I can put my phone down now. Um, okay, confidence advice. What is my best advice to give to you guys? So, Everyone has insecurities. M myself, right, I struggle with acne. I, I, I don't know, it was like in year eight when I turned 13, I just had like, my skin just broke out and it just became crazy. And I struggled with acne. I still do, to be honest. It's just makeup's the gift from the heavens. It's just amazing, thank you. Whoever created makeup, I think it was like, um, was it Max Factor? I'm not sure. But um, off topic, confidence issues. Just be yourself because that's where your confidence will shine through really. I think if you're if you're you and you're just having fun with yourself and you don't need to change, you don't change for anyone. I learned that the hard way, okay. So in year seven I wouldn't speak to I wouldn't talk to people, they'd be like, hi Lanika, and I just blow. Like, I wouldn't speak. And now my friends can't stop me from talking, it's really strange. And I didn't meet my true friends until year eleven. So that was like a big gap where I was just like going through a lot of things. But now, like, I went into college and I met so many new, really cool and amazing people. And I think just be, being yourself is the main confidence advice I would give to you girls. Um, also, if you're insecure about something, show the things that you're good, like what you like about yourself. So if you have acne, cover it with makeup and not too much because you don't need to wear too much because especially if you're young like if you're older and you want to wear makeup go for it if you're young you can still wear makeup don't let anyone stop you from wearing it but if you're just shy in general what i hated at school is if you didn't like to read out loud that's a good example so me 
I'd sit in class and I would hate it, I'd really hate reading out loud. Like, we would read Shakespeare or I think it was like um, The Wind Singer and I hated reading. But where the teacher was like, okay, Lanika, your turn to read, I was like, oh. But now, like, because I got head girl, I had to do assemblies, I had to boost my confidence up. Now, and I think YouTube helped me a lot, like just speaking out loud, but struggling with confidence. Just fake it till you make it, you know, just go for it and be who you are. Meet new nice friends who will boost your confidence as well. And just stay happy, like if you're positive and if you have positive thoughts and you go into something like, it, if it's an interview, for example, and you're feeling really nervous and not confident at all, just, just, Show, show off, show that you can, you've got a really good CV and you've done volunteering, just be yourself and that's like my main confidence, just have fun, but yeah that was really deep and yeah this is why I really enjoy these type of chatty videos because you get to know about me and I get to like give my perspective on the world out. But if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and remember to follow me on all my social network links They'll be down below, like Instagram. I'm not really on Twitter that much. Well, recently I haven't been on that much. And see you in a bit. Bye! <laughs>